Hey guys, that Mike Gamer back here for another video. Welcome back to another NFL Draft All Team NFL Draft video. In this series, what I do is I take based on the players that have my team. I let you choose what players you want to see, what rookies you want to see, all the players you are currently seeing on your screen, all the players I have currently. I think I have all of them except for a couple. So if you do not see like a certain player on the screen, that obviously means I do not have him. But I have pretty much all of the NFL rookies. So what you guys do is you comment down below and you tell me what do you want to see, like what players, what um quarterback do you want, what wide receivers formation do you want, what offensive line do you want, you know, what defensive line, linebackers, blah blah blah. I have all the players as you can see on your screen. Now let's get right into it. Comment today comes in from Evan Miller who said Zeke, Eli Apple, Joey Boza, Braxton Miller. He's a Buckeye fan, of course. And then Paxton Lynch coming in for Mason Hepp. So just like that, guys, all you got to do is comment down below and tell me which players you want me to play with for this episode. And that's what I'll do. So hopefully that made sense. Let's get right into the gameplay. So let me show you the lineup that I have constructed based on these comments. So here's the lineup. As you can see, Paxton Lynch. We got Braxton Miller. Defense, we got Eli Apple. And we got Joey Boza. So let's get right into it and see. The first gameplay is against a Buccaneers fan, it looks like. And right away, we're trying to get Zeke, you know, into the game plan. Our main game plan is to, you know, focus on Zeke and try to get him the ball as much as possible for the main reason you know that Paxton Lynch is might not be as accurate but right here right away I think that's Brandon Coleman I believe the Browns wide receiver gets a touchdown and just like that we take a 7-0 lead just to start off this video great way to start off this video as a whole and now my opponent is rolling out to his right all day to throw it. He throws it across the middle and somehow it is not intercepted. Very surprised that it wasn't intercepted. Second down and 10, he does run it for this first down with Matt Forte. So very interesting. I wonder if that's the 97 overall edition. I'm guessing most likely, but second down and six here. And I'm trying to use it across the middle, maybe to do something. But he does take off running with Matt Matthew Stafford and ends up picking about 40 yards up so first down and 10 already my opponent is in my territory right here i am able to you know misdirect the player so he's not able to complete the actual current route he wanted to and just like that guys bam my opponent quits the game i don't know if he like turned off turn off his xbox but the second game we started off awful now this game was freaking awful altogether, but we started off awful with you know fumbling the kickoff definitely something that you do not want to see out of any kind of rookie player especially when it comes to madden when you fumble the kickoff you know the game is just not going to go your way so although we do hold my opponent to a field goal right here um all first possession did not go well Although we do have a pretty good team, I think we have 93 overall, my opponent did have a lot better players than me, and it definitely showed with offensive line-wise. As you can see, all game, Paxton Lynch was kind of under pressure. We couldn't get anything going when it came to the run game. We did get something there, but, you know, we didn't get much going at all when it came to the running game, and that's something that, you know, I really wish we were able to not play, you know, crazy opponents like this, because honestly it takes away from the aspect of being able to show off the skill of Ezekiel Elliott or you know Paxton Lynch as a whole so definitely you know kind of a mistake there right there uh Hunter just drops the fourth down conversion and my opponent was really weird with this he would do I think they're called route switches where you know you switch your route and you're able to somehow you know get guys wide open or also, he was one his fullback who was David Johnson, so it was very weird opponent, and I'm just I'm not gonna you know say anything about the guy. I didn't like playing against him, but that's just personal. I mean, his team obviously is way better than mine, so that's pretty much another reason why I wouldn't like playing against him. But he does have Michael Vick. I don't know if that's a boss or the ultimate legend, but right here he does a toss play backwards, and luckily for us, all the like rookie linebackers have like. 93 or 94 plus speed so definitely you know a mistake there testing it but he does get a touchdown here 
So he takes a 10 nothing lead and just like that, you know, we're not in a good range. We roll out right here and end up getting sacked. I think that was by uh, Jason Taylor we got sacked by. Right here though, we throw it away on second and 18, bringing up third and 18. And we try to screen it here and we actually pick up some uh, positive yards, about nine yards. So fourth down and nine here. And we just throw it out to Ezekiel Elliott and he gets the first down. And, you know, moves the chains a little bit, giving us a little bit of new life, you, I guess you could say. Right here, though, we throw it deep, and somehow Shepard is wide open down to the four-yard line. And definitely, next play later, getting a touchdown with Zeke Elliott. Zeke definitely did it there. Um, I don't know why I call him Zeke. I saw someone call him Zeke, and now I'm automatically going to call him Zeke. Um, right here though, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know if somehow it was like, I ran man up uh, too deep. I don't know how he gets a guy wide open like that, especially with man up too deep, because the safeties are supposed to be playing back, and for some reason they do not. Right here though, my opponent does the same exact thing. Honestly, he was, he was kind of like a broken record, you know? All we did was throw deep bombs out of this type of stuff. But right here though, he just tried to throw it deep, and it's picked off by Joseph. Uh, I think that was, ooh, I don't, can't think of his name. Maybe Carlos Joseph, something like that. I don't know exactly his name. But right here we get another interception. That's by Jalen Ramsey. Uh, fourth and 21, you know, kind of desperation mode here. We throw it deep, and it is caught by Coleman once again. Another, you know, great play by Coleman. And definitely, other than the fumble and the kickoff, he's been pretty good. But right here we get another interception. And although this is actually our final game of the video guys so this kid um i'm just gonna tell you now he i he didn't ddos me what he did was he um kicked me out of the game i guess he lagged me out of the game whatever and i actually got a loss for it so it kind of sucked but right here we still had a great game before that so we get a pick on our first drive right there um then we're gonna throw it out to hunter he's not able to break any tackle sadly so it brings up second down and seven here, and I am instantly sacked. He actually did have a pretty good defensive pass rush. We're going to toss it out here to Ezekiel Elliott, but Elliott's only able to get nine yards because of warp tackle animations. Right here on fourth and ten, we're going to test his user, and somehow we're able to come up with it. I believe that was Coleman again, but first down and ten here. We're going to pitch it to the left-hand side, and Elliott's going to get about... It looks like two yards. Third down and eight here. And once again, Elliot is showing his elusiveness. First and goal, we're going to hand it off to Derek Hunter. And Derek Hunter is going to get a touchdown. I believe that's Hunter. Is it Derek Henry? My bad, guys. It's Derek Henry. My bad. All right, so we're going to give it up. We give it off to Derek Henry there. Got a touchdown. And now we're just pretty much trying to get a stop on defense. So that's all. pretty much our main goal at this point. Um, he rolls out to his right here, and he's going to throw it, and somehow he catches that. I thought that should easily have been intercepted, but with the EA Bobo, you never know, guys. So first down and 10, he is in my territory, and he's going to throw to the left-hand side here, somehow complete it. Luckily, we get a, a warp tackle animation. It's kind of funny, warp tackling, you know, it's always awesome when it works for you, but when, when it doesn't work for you, and it, if it works against you, you know, everyone gets mad about it, and... I guess it's just because, you know, it shouldn't be in the game altogether, but it does make it easier if, you know, with faster players. So second and 11 here, somehow his receiver was able to hang on to the ball there, but my man will be testing my user. He will be a very, very disrespectful man. Not on this play, guys, but don't worry. Do not be disrespectful. And there's a user pick, so very, very disrespectful. My man tested the user. And he learned his lesson very, very quickly. So definitely a mistake on his part there. But nonetheless, we are still trying to get, you know, as much rushes as possible with Elliot. Pretty much to show him off to see how good he can really do. Second and one here, my opponent does stop me for a loss. Bringing up third and four here. And I'm going to get right back to Elliot. But sadly, Elliot does fumble the ball. He did get hit by Clay Matthews. So I will give him, you know... I guess some in some way it wasn't his fault as much because getting hit by a big hit stick like Clay Matthews, a big hitter, definitely is not easy holding the ball nonetheless. But right here he does throw it 
on an out route, making it third and two. And again, he does it to bring, pick up another first down. And other than DDoSing, or not DDoSing, other than like kicking me off, um, like kicking me out of the game, my opponent pretty did a pretty good job against me. And I really gotta give him props there. But he throws a deep right here and somehow is picked off by uh, Bell. I have no idea how he picked that off. But two seconds to go before halftime, my opponent all day to throw it, throws it deep, and what happens? It is picked off once again by my defense. These rookies, even though they're rookies, they are very good at getting interceptions, and that's something I really like about them. But right here, it starts the second half. We're gonna give it to Elliott. He's able to break that warp tackle animation, but sadly he does go out of bounds. Right here, we're gonna throw it right back to Elliott, and definitely someone, you know. I feel comfortable with getting it, the ball in his hands, even though he did fumble it. You know, that was just a big hit. Anyone's going to fumble it when that happens. Right here, though, my opponent all out blitzes me, and I even jump up, and he almost caught me because I wasn't expecting that. And Braxton Miller, yes, the guy that um, you guys um, told me to use, actually did get that touchdown. So even though he was wide open, he was able to outrun everybody, and definitely, you know, something nice to see. When your player is able to outrun everybody. I believe he has like 98 speed. So kind of makes sense in a way. A lot of these receivers do have really good speed. And that's one thing I love about the receivers in general. Is that the fact that they have great speed. And this is pretty much it guys. So he just kicked me out of the game. I don't know why he did this. I don't know what was his problem. But anyway guys. Here is all the players I have once again. I showed you at the beginning of the video. But I straight up have like all the rookies. Period. So Comment down below what rookies you want me to see, what rookies you want me to play with next. So, for example, if you want to play with Jared Goff, tell me Jared Goff, and then tell me all the receivers you want me to play with. If you want me to play with certain D linemen, as you can see, or certain linebackers, certain safeties, certain uh, corners, or certain you know linemen, tell me anything you want to tell me on what you want, what you want to see me play with, different combinations. Remember, guys, this series is about you guys. Series is about you know. You you um contributing and you know tell me what you want to see. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and if you want to see more of this series, make sure you definitely comment down below and you get interactive with this series. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.